Hey, welcome everyone. Hey, today we're going to talk eclipses. Now, I'm not an expert on eclipses. I don't pretend to be. But I also know that what they're telling us about the uh, quote-unquote solar system and the moon rotating around the Earth is absolute bad science. I thought I was going to say something else, didn't you? But there was one little piece of... Um, information I found on timeanddate.com that kind of triggered this video and um, I want to show you uh, what I found so but before we do I just I'm not gonna say this is the way it is but this is what it appears to be this is the data out of uh, timeanddate.com but let's watch this the lunar cycle for a month here and if you notice that the Sun is rotating faster then the moon, so the, the sun's actually trying to catch up with the moon. And the closer the sun gets to the moon, the less of the moon we see. Now, as we get to this point here, it would seem that the moon, because it's no longer visible when it is by the sun, is would have to be behind the sun. Just by the, you know, the light of the sun is what reflects off the moon now before you get all upset I'm not talking about the light that we see that we call the Sun um, it is my firm belief from what I've been able to uh, understand so far this what we see as the Sun is is only the visible part of the light that's when it hits our atmosphere is being refracted the source of the light wherever that is coming from is what's reflecting off the moon at the same angle so that when the moon is on the opposite side we're going to continue here of the Sun it becomes a full moon again and it it starts to wind up the other direction so the moon is literally looks like it's on a quote-unquote orbit over the earth and it actually goes behind the Sun now what's interesting is um, is the eclipses let's uh, according to NASA now I'm going to use 2015 but according to NASA there was well one total uh, total solar eclipse and one partial one in 2015 that's March 20th and September 13th now um, what was interesting is according um, uh, actually let's, before we do that So, if we're going to go up here to March 20th, and let's see if we can get up here. Okay. So, now watch what happens here on March 20th. Well, I'm going to show you a better picture here, but... Um, this is what happens on March 20th at 9 p.m or 9 a.m. UTC time. There's a solar eclipse. Now, at right at 10 o'clock, look at where the, the sun and the moon, that looks like the moon actually this time around passed in front of the sun. What's interesting, those annular solar eclipses happen every, every year at the spring and fall equinox and what's it really interesting is why is it not visible from Africa why is it only visible all the way up to Greenland so let's take a look here so we look here at, on March 20th 2015 
here we have the the moon in front of the sun and this is the visible area all the way to Greenland but when we look at the same March 20th 2015 the moon is right smack in the center of the earth how is Greenland being able to see the eclipse but Africa is not and not only that but according to this solar system model here the moon's not even anywhere over Africa on March 20th 2015 at 10 a.m. now I do have this thing set up on realistic mode so it has the angles of the BS eclipses what makes it even worse is if I put this in realistic mode yeah so that's what's the Sun is creating a shadow little tiny dots a ah, bunch of bullshit so the question is how is the solar eclipse visible all the way up here when the moon is down here and why does not Africa why can't Africa see it it's close, it has more over Africa than it does or at least it would be that it doesn't make any sense because well I know why it doesn't make sense but so this model is completely wrong but uh, and if, if we do the same thing for September September the eclipse or the partial eclipse happens over um, the Indian Ocean but look where the who where it's visible at it's in the Antarctic so if we look at this on the flat earth model uh, here's the Sun and the moon and why is the eclipse visible in an Antarctic well I think that's very simple to be perfectly honest with you um, I think it is because the angle of the moon and the Sun here and I think if we if we look down here look at the latitude lines for the Sun look at the latitude line for the moon the moon is on a lower latitude I'm sorry the yeah the Sun is on a higher latitude than the moon on there so they're not if you're underneath if you're sitting here over in India you're not gonna see a solar eclipse because you're looking at the bottom of the Sun and the moon would be on the other side of it so you're not in direct line of it but on a flat earth this right here is causing the um, the eclipse to happen over in the Ant Antarctic now we can also look at this one it doesn't make any sense so here we have September 13th 2015 and once again there's the moon there's the earth wow, wow Venus is pretty close on that one but again it's still in right on the in the center of the, of the planet oh, I use that term loosely and it's it doesn't make any sense how is the eclipse happening down here when the moon is up here and the sun's over here should be direct line so this is complete and utter bullshit it cannot work in this model now here's the clincher according to timeanddate.com a solar eclipse can only take place during a new moon well that's a red flag because 
every month there's a new moon. So every month uh, you should have a solar eclipse. Not just two a year, but because every month you're going to have a new moon. And a new moon only happens when, on this model here, when it is in front of the sun where supposedly we can't see it. Well, that's also when the eclipses happen. So why is there not 12 um, eclipses per year? So this model cannot work. It is just complete bogus. There's the, the two models. I like, you know what? I'm going to invite all the trolls to really come up and explain this one. Why is there not a solar eclipse every time there's a new moon? Hey, prove me wrong. I, I can be wrong. Prove me wrong. But this right here proves that this model, the globe, the, uh, the globe model is an absolute, I mean, it's just complete junk. It doesn't make any sense. The flat earth model, even if you disagree with it, you have to admit it makes more sense than this. Anyway, something to chew on for a while. But uh, the, the new moon, only at new moon? <laughs>